Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I'm going to show you how to make this fun card featuring the On the Ocean bundle. This is a really fun bundle. It's unlike anything that Stampin' Up's ever had. It's great for masculine cards. Um, I wanted to use this sentiment, I'd be lost without you, right here. Um, and so I was thinking I want to create kind of a stormy sky in the background. So I'm going to show you how I created this. It's pretty easy. It's watercolor. And um, and then I'll show you how to put together the, the ship. All right. So let's create our background. What I have here is a quarter sheet of shimmer white cardstock. And I use just regular painter's tape that you get at the hardware store to tape it down to a piece of chipboard. I've got starry sky ink. And I'm going to dab a clear block in it just to kind of create a palette and I've got a bowl of water here and my water painter and I'm just going to kind of create a, a swoosh in the middle now if you use too much water your color won't be very dark but if you use too little water your colors won't spread and blend like this so it's kind of a balance so just play around with it you're also going to need to do another piece, a scrap piece, um, just like this for the, the wave that we're going to do. All right, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry for a while. All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, I am going to get my boat together. I've got my grid sheet, and the reason I've got my grid sheet is because I am going to ink the edges of the sails. Now, there's two options here for a ship. You've got a stamp and then the die that cuts out that stamp. And then what I've done is we're going to paper piece a die cut ship that I die cut from cardstock. So I cut out the, the uh, bottom of the boat here from soft suede. Then I cut this one out of soft suede as well. The only thing that's going to show here are these lines. The uh, sails are cut from very vanilla and they're going to cover that up like that. All right. So I want to I want this to kind of look old and like it's been around. So I'm going to take one of my small blending brushes and some crumb cake ink. Now I don't want it real dark, so I'm going to run it off on my grid paper. And then I'm just going to kind of go around the sides. Okay? And just kind of add a little make it a little dirty if you will. Just a little dirty. All right, they're good, I like that. All right, so then I'm gonna get my liquid glue and I'm gonna put some glue here like this and glue that to that. All right, now, I'm not going to glue these two pieces together because as you can see, there's just this tiny little spot there. So we'll use dimensionals to put it down on our card base so that it looks like it's together. But I can adhere this little flag that I've cut from brushed metallic cardstock. Okay. And then I've got a very vanilla uh, stitched banner and I'm going to stamp. Usually I like to stamp and then cut, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and did the die cut. Let's see if I can stamp it straight. I like to practice on the lines on my grid paper. Let's see. All right. Not bad. I'm going to cut that off. You're also going to need two very vanilla um, clouds. And one other thing that you need to do is to cut out some or to paint some extra pieces. I have just laid out some pieces and created a bunch of backgrounds. We're going to use one of them to cut out a wave as well. All right, our piece is dry. We're going to add some texture to it. I'm going to take my um, water painter and some water and I'm going to flick some some water on it some small drops and some big drops. Let it sit for a minute. Well, not a minute, a few seconds. And then take my paper towel and uh, lift it up. See how it's made some drops, all right? And then you can just dab that and you can do that as much as you want. Now I'm gonna take, I think I'll just use this water. It's a little bit blue, but I think it'll be okay. I'm, 
actually that's a little bit too much water. Let's just add a little bit of craft to this bowl. Craft uh, white ink, and then I'm gonna add just a drop. Whoop, well that was a little more than a drop, wasn't it? Let's see if I can pour some of that out before it starts to mix. There we go. All right, now my other water painter was around here. Where did it go? Did it roll off? Here it is. All right, now I'm gonna mix that up and I'm gonna add some, woo, that was a big one. Add some splatter to this, okay? Now, last but not least, you know, let's dab that. That's really big. Last but not least, I'm going to take my Starry Sky Dark and I'm just going to flick even more ink on it. All right? Very cool. All right. Now, for the sake of the video, I have one that is completely dry, which is what we're going to use. Let me clean up my space. All right, let's bring back over all of our things that we have. We are going to use one of these. Let's see, do I need to trim it down? It needs to be four by five and a fourth. Nope, that one's perfect. And we're going to take one of these extra ones. Let's use this one. And I'm going to run it through my cut and emboss machine with the two um wave dies okay i'm just gonna cut it like that i'm gonna have both of them there and it's just gonna kind of create a just a a wave once just a solid wave is what we need all right and see that piece right there that's what we want Okay, so let's put it all together. Make sure I don't make a mess with all of my water. I'm gonna add, now the paper is warped because we had we put water on it. So you wanna be generous with your adhesive, okay, so that it'll stick flat down on your card. And I'm gonna start with the bottom of my ship. And I'm going to put that right there. And then we'll get the top of our ship right there. And put that like that. Let's see, maybe that needs to come down a little bit like that. All right, now get your wave. It's too long. We don't need it to be that long. I just need like, I don't know, about that much. And we'll put that right there. Let's well, we can do dimensionals on this too. We'll put dimensionals right there and stick that right there. All right, now remember I said we're going to cut this off like that. And again, another dimensional. And we're going to put that right there. And then I've got some clouds. And really, I think you just need one. And we're gonna cut it in, in half, not really in half, but a little more than half. And we're gonna take this one and we'll stick that right to that edge. And we'll take this one and stick it over here behind our ship. Maybe like that. Maybe a little bit higher so we can see it. And then last but not least, oh wait, we do wanna put a piece of basic white on the inside so that we can write a message. And then last but not least, let's move our mess so we can see our finished card all beautiful. We're gonna add a linen thread bow. I'm gonna fold the linen thread in half so that I have two pieces and tie a double bow like that. Okay, get your glue dots. And my take your pick tool is gone rogue, so I'll just use my nails. Hopefully I got it, there we go. And 
there you have it. Now remember, every card is going to look different because every background is going to look different. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I hope you'll give it a try. Let me know if you have questions. Make sure you hop over there to my blog to get that free PDF and see the other two on the ocean projects. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.